Mr. Napier, let me just start with the headline which has grabbed a lot of attention this week, earlier this week, which is the US bond yield inverted and we should now prepare for a recession. For a world which was hungry for inflation a couple of months ago, now we are talking about recession coming soon, sir. Yeah, I don't believe that. I, I know that this has a rather good historical uh, record at forecasting recessions, so I'm aware of the, the history of the, of the indicator. Uh, but it has also been wrong, and it can be wrong, particularly if we change the nature of the system. So this has really been that call that I've made since May 2020. It wasn't just that inflation was going up, is that the nature of the system was changing, and it was becoming a less market-orientated system, and a system more driven by government intervention. Uh, it's been obvious in the bond markets for many years. That was central bank intervention, obviously played a huge role uh, in shaping yield curves, spectacularly so in Japan, as we speak, uh, but also in the United States of America. Uh, and I would ask those who are taking their measures of future economic activity for the bond market to think back to May 2000 and tell us what the bond yield was getting right about the outlook for growth uh, and inflation. And even if it was getting it right in the direction, was it anywhere close to getting it right uh, in, the mag in the magnitude? Uh, now, there are two elements to the manipulation of bond prices, and one is that central bank intervention, but the second is a growing financial repression, forcing financial institutions to buy these bonds. And it's at a relatively small level at the minute, but there are certainly US institutions, particularly in the life insurance industry that find themselves having to buy the bonds. So it's almost the last refuge of the scoundrel to say, here's a market price that isn't the market price. It's an easy way to dismiss anything to say it ceased to have these values, but that is the call. It's a structural change in how the system works and that pricing is falling more into the hands of the government and it's less reliable as an indicator of what the future will be. So basically, I do not see there being a recession. I think there's gonna be a huge capital expenditure boom across the developed world. Uh, consumption, yes, the tax of higher energy hits consumption uh, and particularly the poorer section of society, wherever they may be anywhere in the world. Uh, but there is a large chunk of developed world society in particular whose balance sheets are in pretty good nick following COVID and underconsumption. So yes, there is a tax, uh, but it won't be as bad the energy tax as we think on consumption. And I think what the world really doesn't get yet is the scale of the capital expenditure boom that's coming, uh, particularly as we re reinvest in a huge scale to reduce our reliance on China, not on Russia.